What's up everybody? We are Diana and Phil. Diana is from the United States and I am from Germany. And since we are in Germany right now, in this video, we're going to talk about German car brands and their pronunciation in German and English. So let's start with the expensive ones, the big names, the luxury brands and get them right out of the way. Luxury. All right. First one, everybody knows it. How would you pronounce this one? B M W. BMW, but originally it is BMW. 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 So BMW, BMW is actually an abbreviation and it means Bayerische Motorenwerke. Yeah, I did not know that, what BMW stood for. Bayerische Motorenwerke. Bayerische Motorenwerke. Yeah, and it basically stands for Bavarian Motor Works or something like that. So it's the Bavarians, they rub it right in your face. Hey, look at us, we have the best BMW's cars. BMW's only in Bavaria. Yeah, it's Bavarian, Munich. I also want to talk a little bit about the cars, but since BMW has a very boring system and naming their cars basically 1, 2, 3, 4, or <laughs> X1, X2, X3, Ein, zwei, whatever. Drei, vier. Exactly, we don't really need to talk about that. <laughs> So let's get right into the next big luxury brand, and it is... Audi. It is what? Audi? Audi. Audi. Audi? It is Audi. Audi? Audi. It's like, ow! I ow. remember, I know, I used to say it like Audi, like an Audi belly button. Audi, and people said it was wrong in the US. No, it is Audi. It's funny, when I use it in sentences, talking to people, I can tell they're not getting what I'm saying. Yeah, and he was driving an Audi and I don't know why, and uh, people don't get it. So yeah. I tend to talking to Americans saying Audi. Yeah, it, Audi. in America we say Audi, right? Yeah. I think so, I can't even remember now. But it's Audi. Yeah. It's fun to, to give it the German aggression Audi. if you say these names. I always think of a belly button every time I say Audi. <laughs> like an Audi belly button? What is that? When your belly button doesn't go oh, in and it pokes out a little Audi. bit. An Audi. <laughs> All right. Am I right? Anyone else? Anyone? So, <laughs> car names again with Audi. Very, very interesting. Instead of one, two, three, they go A1, A2, A3. A1, A2, A3. Yeah, or Q1, Q2. Very, very creative. So, <laughs> so let's straight go to the third one. The third big premium luxury brand is... Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes. Even people are named Mercedes and exactly. I always think it sounds so... But their actual name is Mercedes. Mercedes-Benz. Wait, really? Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes? Mercedes-Benz. Dude, I actually have never heard a German say Mercedes. Mer Mercedes-Benz. I usually say, I drive a Benz or I drive a Mercedes. Yeah, you usually, yeah, you, you, you say one or the one other. Of the, yeah, exactly. <gasps> Mercedes? Mercedes-Benz. Dude, we should bring that to America. People will yeah. be like, what are you saying? I don't understand you. It sounds so, luxury like, ooh, Rolex, Mercedes. I What's think another? it's such I don't a even pretentious know any celebrity thing to call their daughter that. That's what I think about. Mercedes. Who calls their daughter Mercedes? Well, I actually don't even, I can't even think of a Mercedes yeah, person. So I just... Hi, Mercedes, Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes. And guess what they do with their car names? They don't do one, two, three. They do A, B, C. They skip the D, they go E and crap like that. So cool. It's, it's funny. Is that the German way of efficient thinking, like structured, organized? I think there are a lot of countries that think like that, but yeah, I think it, it fits the German uh, brand. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny that you notice that with the premium brands, but then if we go away from them, it gets a little more creative with the car names at least. Quick reminder in between, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We're still a very small channel, so every support is highly appreciated. Also, if you want to further support us, well, you can do that on Patreon. We have a Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash and Phil. We have different tiers and benefits that you can get on there. And every support, every Patreon is highly, highly appreciated. So back to the video. Hey, so the next one, we're still sticking with the expensive stuff. It's gonna be a Porsche. A Porsche. But wasn't Joey on Friends the one that said Porsche? Hey, it's Porsche! Hey! It's Porsche! <laughs> it's Porsche! Yeah, it's Porsche. Porsche! Porsche! Boom! Porsche. Again, talking to Americans, I feel a little stupid saying Porsche. So I usually say Porsche. I always think Porsche. of like French cuisine because I think French food is the only one where people actually try to pronounce it, be like, 
I would like a croissant or a baguette. I would like to have some breakfast. Uh, let me get the croissant. I but at least Porsche Ooh. has some actual names of the cars. In English, if I were to read this, I'd say Porsche Boxster. Yeah, so Porsche Boxster. Porsche Boxster. Porsche Cayman. Yeah, Porsche Cayman. Come on. We usually say Cayman, so that's not oh, much really? different. That's... Yeah. Next one. Porsche Cayenne. Cayenne. Right? Yeah. Like the pepper? Yeah, we say Cayenne. Cayenne? It's, it's a little bit of a rougher German way Cayenne. of saying it. Porsche Cayenne. Cayenne. Porsche Cayenne. And the last one? Porsche Panera. Panamera? Yeah, and we do the German one, Panamera. Porsche Panamera. 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 So not too crazy in the Porsche section, but let's go. Well, at least they get creative. Yeah, let's go off the, the luxury brands and go with the. The peasant most, brand. The, the, the <laughs> peasant <laughs> brand. And the first one, which I don't think is that well known around the world, is. Opel? Opel. 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 Opel? Opel, this, the brand is called Vauxhall in the UK hmm. and I actually assumed it's the same in the US but it's not, right? Because in the beginning I was like, hey, do you have Vauxhall, right? And you were like, what are you saying? It I don't know. know what you're saying. I did a little bit of research and it's actually interesting what I found out. So Opel actually was from 1958 to 1975 in the US as Opel and the two best-selling ones were these two. Opel Cadet? The and Opel Kadett, yes. And Opel Manta? Opel Manta, yes. The, the cheap person's uh, Porsche. <laughs> and Opel Manta. I like the name, Opel. But then later, and still nowadays, a couple of the Opel models are just rebatched with other manufacturers and sold as part of their lineup, but it's actually an Opel. Yeah. For example, previously Saturn in the US, do you know Saturn I'm cars? I'm familiar with Saturn cars. From 2008 to 9, there was a Saturn Astra. Yeah. And that actually was an Opel Astra rebatched as a Saturn. Interessant. Same with the Saturn L series, which was originally a Opel Vectra. Opel Vectra. So if you drive a Saturn L series from 2000 to 2005, you're actually driving a German Opel Vectra. Whoa, that's uh, really? Yeah. Interessant. Another one of these examples Caddy Cadillac. Cadillac Catura. Katera was actually an Opel Omega. 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 Or, or as we say, Opel Omega. Was? Opel Omega. Omega. Omega? Omega. Omega. O Omega. And then more recently, Buicks. The Buick Regal is not a Buick. It's not an American. It's a German Opel. Insignia? Yeah. Opel Insignia. Opel Insignia. Exactly. Same with the Buick Verano, which actually is a Opel Astra. Opel Astra. And then the Buick Encore is actually a German... Opel Mocha? Opel Mocha. Mocha? Mocha. Mocha. So if you drive any of these cars, Buick Regal, Buick Verano, Buick Encore, you're driving a German Opel. So I hope that's a little interesting. And then last big manufacturer, the biggest actually, the car of the people. You all know it, it's... Volkswagen. It's what? Volkswagen. 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 Or abbreviated VW. VW, that's it. VW. It's not a Volkswagen. It's a Volkswagen. It's a Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Yeah, and it's translated basically people's car. They have a couple of interesting names too. For example, let's start with the first one. Polo. Yeah, Volkswagen Polo. VW Polo. VW Polo. Yeah, it's a pretty small car. I think you do not have it in the US. You don't have cars don't. that small. We only drive big yeah. cars in the US. And the biggest name, the, the most sold car in Germany ever is the... Golf. VW Golf. Golf. You always talk about this and I was not a... F golf. Uh, golf. I was like, look at golf, golf. He points it out every time we see one. You never see a Golf convertible. Yeah, if you see a Golf, golf 1 convertible, a Golf 1 Cabrio. Golf 1 Cabrio. That's rare, you know, because it's old and they don't exist anymore. Shiny and Pokemon. Funny, it was sold in the US before under the name Volkswagen Rabbit. They didn't use the Golf, they called what? it a Rabbit. I think they do not call it rabbit anymore, but they did in like the third or fourth generation around that time. Dude, I think marketing with that is on point. Like, this is my rabbit. I drive the <laughs> rabbit. It's my rabbit. All right, the next one, you know. Punch buggy, no punch back. The punch buggy. The beetle. 
Käfer. Yeah, VW Käfer, originally. One of the first words you'll learn in it's German. A, it's a buck. VW Käfer. VW Käfer. But nowadays, like 10, 15 years ago, when they came up with the new version, they, th they thought, hey, it's more trendy if we use an English word now. And now they actually call it the Volkswagen Beetle, like the VW Beetle. Beetle. VW Beetle. Beetle. But uh, Käfer, original. I like Käfer better. Then we have some more. Oh, Jetta, that's yeah. popular. I wonder what we say actually, VW. Jetta? 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 I think it's just a thing that Germans have a little bit of a hard time pronouncing that. So I, I bet a lot of people say VW Jetta and then VW Jetta. Jetta. All right, next one. Passat. Passat? You say Passat or Passat or something. Passat. Yeah, VW Passat. Passat. VW Passat. Passat. What is that? Is that a meaning? Does it have a meaning? It's a uh, wind, I think, on somewhere on the earth. It's like the Passat. With Winde, I think those are very highly elevated winds. Well, I don't know. Let us know in the comments below what the Passat air streams are. Okay, and then two more. We got the SUVs. Tiguan. Oh yeah, it's pretty close. VW Tiguan. Tiguan. And the last one. Tiguan. Touareg. Tu wait. Touareg. 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 VW Touareg. Touareg. VW Touareg. VW. VW Touareg. I think try with a little more aggression. VW Touareg. This is what everyone gives me shit if I say German with too aggression. This is how you And this German. is what he tells me. He's like, aggression! VW Touareg. VW Touareg. Question. Would you say Saturn as Saturn in German or it would be Saturn? Saturn. Saturn. The translation is Saturn, but we don't have that car brand. Now uh, you know how to pronounce all the German cars. Now we're gonna bring the German pronunciation to America. Actually, you're driving a Volkswagen. 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 Anyway, this is gonna be it for this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up underneath. Comment below which one is funny to you, which one sounds funny. Do you have any more funny car names that we could pronounce? And thank we'll you see so you. much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.